If you are attention seeking enough at school, it will get you on television. They just did a shout out to schools all around Victoria and they were looking for the funny drama kids and I was one of the funny drama kids so my name got put forward. It's a it's a valuable lesson. If you are attention seeking enough at school, it will get you on television. And then we had to do auditions with like 50 people in a room. All the kids would go up one at a time and we'd have to do our own characters. It was like 2010. 2011 so it was right at the time that Tumblr was really big so I did like a Tumblr girl kind of like indie character it was very of its moment Ugh, control elderly I love sketch comedy like I grew up with um the Amanda show and all that so we had you know we had these incredible sketch shows with kids in them so to be doing the Australian version of it was just like oh it was just it was genuinely a dream come true I was just I, I still can't believe it happened I think it's the coolest thing ever all of it was so much fun we were always in wigs anytime I got to wear a blonde wig I was very happy because I went oh my god look at me a blonde so less about the content more about personal goals but that was also very fun I remember we shot a lot of the first season in um some studios in Footscray in Melbourne and I remember we all met at this yeah I guess this green room and we were just obsessed with each other straight away obviously I had lots of beautiful funny friends but finding people who were just into comedy and into acting as this like dorky teenager I was just so happy and so Izzy who joined the uh the show in season two and was in season three as well is legitimately still one of my best friends ever I see her like once a week everyone else I will see from time to like I'll just bump into because everybody kind of still lives in the same area and it is always super amicable like not even amicable it's delightful it's always so warm like just the too many good memories like no one there's no one i think of on that show and I go yikes I'm glad I don't see them anymore um, we would shoot after school um because it was like it was a, de a delightfully low budget show we didn't film during school hours because uh it was a bit more expensive so we would shoot after school and on weekends and any time that we got to you know it was a school night and we'd be shooting and we'd be in these like big costumes and have like our hair done up for wigs and we just like eat dinner together I thought it was the most I didn't, life didn't get better than that. I just went, this is so cool. Everybody is so funny. A more cringe memory I do have is one time I did a sketch and I needed a phone and I didn't have a phone and we're about to shoot and they just grabbed some random cast member, a crew member's phone and they went, just use this. And I opened it in the sketch and it had their dating profile on it. And I went, I was like 16. I was like, I don't need to know this. That was way too private. Uh, and I'm still haunted by that to this day. It was so funny because no one at school cared at all that I was on TV. I don't think, I think I had a couple of friends that like watched it, but nobody, because it was for such a young demographic. But then um, the primary school part of my school uh, sometimes would walk past and they'd see me and these like grade four kids would go, oh my gosh, you're Molly. And I was like, yes, thank you. This is the acknowledgement I was waiting for from my 16 year old friends. When we came out of the lockdowns, all the 18 year olds, 19 year olds were coming out, you know, to bars and stuff for the first time. And I've started getting recognized a lot more than ever before. Like going out at night, there are kids that are around my sister's age who go, you're Molly from your skinny minutes. I'm, I go, you're meant to be eight. What are you doing at this nice restaurant? Go to bed. I think it's people who watched it when they were little, revisiting it you know they've had that time away from it now it's a real nostalgia fest if they want to watch sketches I do think that I haven't gone back and watched it in a long time but I do think that it's probably had it probably has a presence online um my sister's definitely sent me a TikTok that I have been in going remember this show I went I do remember this show very very well <laughs> it's so nice I it should make me feel a thousand years old but it doesn't it just makes me feel like so special that it was so meaningful to so many people especially because when you make it at the time it is for kids so young that there is no and especially when we were making it there's not really an online discourse around it so you have no idea if people like it um and then to, yeah to be a grown up in the world and have these people like people at cafes and stuff go you're Molly and I go oh I'm just so happy you enjoyed it and it gave you 
and it's a nice memory from your childhood it's like what a wonderful thing I, okay I will share I don't know if this gossip is interesting to anyone but I do remember when we first started I had a big crush on Rowan who was one of the guys on the show um but I do think that was mostly I was 16 and he was 18 and I went that's so cool <laughs> I look back and then I go, oh, we were both babies. Like, we were both so little. <laughs> but at the time, I thought that was the most dangerous, coolest age gap in the world. <laughs> I remember being really sad when the first season was over and then so happy when we got a second season. The original cast did not get us back for the third season because we were too old, <laughs> which is so funny to say because we would have been 19. Um, but for what that show was, absolutely. Um, but I remember being very, like, at peace with that uh and it felt it felt exciting to kind of pass it on to the next definitely not next generation because they were like 18 months younger than us but next uh crew on the ship oh I would love to do a reunion or a reboot I think it would it would have like a very kind of iCarly vibe of like we're not that much older but now we could maybe like swear I genuinely think that cast was so talented and I still adore them all so much that uh yeah if they said, do you want to do like the, you're skidding me, but we're at, you know, we're at college. <laughs> I have no idea what it would be rather than our school uniforms, we're all in an office or something. Oh, it would be so down. I'm mostly writing and uh, directing and producing. I do, I do still like acting a lot, um, but I, I think I got so lucky that I got such an early start in the industry uh, and got to see how it all worked that I quickly kind of fell in love with the behind the scenes parts of it. My heart is still very much in kids content and I would love to keep working in a, a kids television, maybe in a more writer capacity. If you want to see any of it, I'm Molly Daniels with a Z on Instagram. And I have a few like mini uh, digital series on there called Party of the Century and Funeral of the Century that you can watch anytime.